Hi everybody, today we are going to continue talking about the determinant of a square matrix. So um, today we're going to be working on larger matrices, so 3 by 3s, 4 by 4s, and even a 5 by 5. So to find the determinant of a larger square matrix, well it also works for a 2 by 2, but we also already have a nice formula for that. Uh, we have a new formula. So essentially what you do is you pick any single row or column of your matrix. All you need is one row or column. And you can find the determinant of that matrix by taking the sum of all your entries multiplied by their uh, respective cofactors. So essentially you look at all of the entries in your column or row and you multiply them by their cofactor and that will be your determinant. Now when you're doing this method, it's really important that you um, choose your row or column wisely because of course, if there's a lot of zeros, well then your element is a zero, meaning you don't even need to find that cofactor. So it will save you a lot of time. Now this will be a really nice method for a three by three, but you'll have to use it for a four by four and a five by five. There's one other way I will show you today for a three by three as well. So let's start um, by finding the determinant of this matrix using our cofactor uh, formula. So I'm gonna use row one because I see there's a zero. Now I know there's other rows and columns that have a zero, but we'll, we have to pick one. So it really doesn't matter. You'll end up with the same answer. So the determinant of matrix A is just going to be um, element one one times the cofactor of one one plus element 1, 2 times the cofactor of 1, 2, plus element 1, 3 times the cofactor of 1, 3. And um, that's the formula that we just learned, and we only have to do it for this one row. So we know that um, the element 1, 1 is 0. So this term we don't even need to worry about. It will disappear. And then what we have left is 2, which is 1, 2, times its cofactor, which we'll find, and then one times its cofactor, which we will also find. So now, let's find those cofactors. So to find the cofactor of one, two, first of all, I can see that the sum of i and j is um, odd, which means I'm gonna need to multiply by my minor by negative one, so watch out for that. Remember, the way we find the cofactor is we take out the all the numbers in that row and that column. So what we would have left is 3, 2, 4, 1. And now we can find the determinant of that by multiplying across and subtracting the other diagonal product. So we have 3 minus 8. So we have negative, negative 5, so it becomes positive 5. So don't forget about this negative. And remember, if the sum of this is odd, we have to multiply by negative 1. All right, so now we need to find um, the cofactor of 1, 3. So the sum of 1 and 3 is even, so our cofactor is going to be the same as our minor. So we go back to our original matrix again, and we're going to take out row 1, column 3, and what we're left with is 3, negative 1, 4, 0, and now we're going to find the determinant of that. So that will be 0 minus negative 4, which is positive 4. So now all we have to do is go back and plug these in here and here. So I'm going to zoom back up. So this will give us 2 times 5 plus 1 times 4, which is 14. So the determinant of matrix A is 14. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try to find the determinant of this matrix using that uh, cofactor formula. Okay, so I chose to use um, the second row for this one. So three times the cofactor of two, one, five times the cofactor of two, two. So here's the cofactor of two, one. Please don't forget to multiply it by negative one because the sum is odd. And then here's the remaining matrix, and um, take the determinant and multiply it by negative 1. And then uh, the cofactor of 2, 2 should be positive 1. And then you substitute those values here, and you should get negative 31. 
All right, now I'm going to show you guys another way to find the determinant of a 3 by 3. I call this the diagonal method. It will always work for a 3 by 3, but it won't always be the fastest way. I don't want you to forget about that cofactor formula because depending on the numbers, um, this version might actually take longer. So here's the way it works. To find the determinant, we're going to write our first three columns. And then we're actually going to replicate our first column right here and our second column right here. Now we're going to kind of follow um, a similar process to finding the determinant of a 2 by 2. We're actually going to multiply across the diagonals. So you can see that by replicating these two columns, it gave us enough terms to multiply uh, three times diagonally. So we're going to take those products and then add them up. I'm going to group those together as well, so make sure you group them. So here we have 0 times negative 1 times 1, which is 0. And then we have 2 times 2 times 4, which is 16. And then we have another 0 because of this. And now uh, we're going to multiply across the other way diagonally, just like a 2 by 2 and we're going to subtract the sum of those products. So here it's going to be really important that you um, group. So here we have 4 times negative 1 times positive 1. So we have negative 4 plus 0 and then plus 6. So this leaves us with 16 minus 2 which is 14. If you notice, this is the exact same matrix that we used in example one. So it makes sense that we ended up with the exact same determinant. So this method will only work for a three by three, but it can oftentimes be a little bit quicker than using the formula. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem. It's the same one that you tried before, but now I'd like you to find the determinant using the diagonal method. Okay, so just like the last time you did it, you should end up with negative 31. So uh, replicate columns 1 and 2, and then take the products, and then add them up. Take the products, and then add them up, and subtract um, that sum. So you should end up with negative 31. All right, so now we're going to try a 4 by 4 matrix. So for this, we are going to need to use our cofactor formula, and we're going to need to pick our row or column wisely. So maybe you can guess that we're going to be picking uh, this column because, well, there's three zeros, so it makes our job a lot easier. So to find the determinant of matrix A, it's just going to be our element, which is 3, times the cofactor of that element, so the cofactor of row 1, column 3. Everything else is going to be 0, so we don't have to worry about it. So our only job now is to find the cofactor of 1, 3. So I'm going to start this off by checking the sum. Since the sum of 1 and 3 is even, I don't need to multiply by negative 1. Now, just like we've done before, to find this cofactor, we're going to take out all of the terms in uh, row 1 and column 3. And what we would have left would be negative 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2. So the cofactor of 1, 3 is the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Well, luckily, we know two different ways to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, for this one, I am going to use the diagonal method, So, but you can also use the cofactor formula um, as long as you can find the determinant of that 3 by 3. So I'm going to repli replicate the first two columns. And then I'm going to start the process of multiplying across. So here we would have negative 4 plus 9 plus 0. And then multiplying across the other way. So minus, and then make sure you group them. Here we have uh, 12 minus 12 plus 0. So it's just going to be negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. So the cofactor of 1, 3 was the determinant of this 3 by 3, which is 5. Now all we need to do 
is go back and substitute that 5 right here because the cofactor of 1, 3 is 5. So I'm going to substitute it, and it's just 3 times 5, which is 15. All right, so go on and pause the video and give this 4 by 4 a try. Okay, so you can see here that I decided to use the third column because of the two zero. So this would be our formula, negative 4 times the cofactor of 1, 3, 3 times the cofactor of 2, 3. So there's two things we have to find here. First, we have to find the cofactor of 1, 3. So here's my 3 by 3 matrix, and I chose to find that determinant using the diagonal method. So the cofactor of 1, 3 should be negative 152. The sum is even, so I can leave it as negative 152. Now to, to find the cofactor of 2, 3, um, I see that the sum of 2 and 3 of my i and j values is odd. So I need to multiply by negative 1. And then here I have my remaining 3 by 3 matrix, which I got by eliminating row 2 and column 3. And I chose again to solve this matrix using the diagonal method, or to find the determinant using the diagonal method. So the determinant of this 3 by 3 is negative 32, but then remember we have to multiply by negative 1. So our cofactor is positive 32. And then all we did here was we substituted our cofactors back into our formula, and you should end up with a determinant of 704. All right, last problem. I have a challenge problem for you guys. It's a 5x5 five five matrix. It actually um, is a lot nicer than it seems, so give it a try. Okay, so I started off by... Um, setting my initial equation uh, for my determinant. So I chose to use this column, so it's going to be 5 times the cofactor of 1, 1. Everything else would be zeros. So I say, okay, the first thing I need to do is find the cofactor of 1, 1. So I took out uh, row 1, column 1, and here's what I had left. So now I say, okay, I need to find the determinant of this 4 by 4. So imagine we're starting completely fresh. I can find the determinant of this 4 by 4 using this column. So my, uh, my formula says it's the element, which is 1, times its cofactor, which is the cofactor of 1, 1. Everything else would be 0. So to find this cofactor, I eliminate row 1, column 1, and here's what I have remaining. So from there, I say I have a 3 by 3 matrix. I know two different ways to solve it. I chose to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 by using the cofactor formula again and selecting this row. So it's 0 plus 0 plus 2 times its cofactor. So now this is the last step. We just have to find the cofactor of 3, 3. So I take out row 3, column 3. Here's the matrix I have left. I can find that determinant using our 2 by 2 formula. So um, the product of this minus the product of this. So the determinant of this is negative 15, which is the cofactor of 3, 3. So I can go back and substitute that here. So I do 2 times negative 15, and it's negative 30. That means I can take this and go back and substitute it up here. So I have 1 times negative 30 is negative 30. And now that I know this cofactor, I can go back and plug it into our original um, equation and we have 5 times negative 30 and we get negative 150. Now do be careful, all of these cofactors, the i and j, uh, the i and j sum was even so I didn't need to worry about multiplying by negative 1, but it is always something to look out for. Um, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.